So earlier this week, as I'm sure you noticed, a new meme popped up. It's okay to be white. Well, <clears throat> let's talk about that. More specifically, let's talk about the reaction to that meme. As you might know already, and I'm sorry this video is a little bit late, I thought about it for a couple of days before I decided to do a video on this because hundreds of people already have. But I thought, hey, you know, why not get my turn in? Well, as you might already know, the reaction to it was just that the left just blew its collective top in overwhelming fashion. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty great to see, actually. But just to point out the obvious, the fact that the collective left did blow their collective top in such overwhelming fashion shows you that it's not okay to be white. That's right. Now, you notice that there's an anti-white racist element to this country, to this culture, to academia, in academia, and in government. I mean, what do you think affirmative action is, right? It's called the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, not white people, right? Diversity. Diversity is our strength. <laughs> you know, diversity means everybody else except whites. The whole diversity thing is racist against whites. So, instead of denying it, instead of pushing that down. Why don't you just acknowledge it and say, hey, you know, it's our turn, I guess. I know that sounds so horrible, doesn't it? But you've had the same thought. You've had the same thought. You've looked at our history. You've looked at the cultural attitudes. And you've gone, man, one day, the world's going to have it in for white people, for us whites. Yeah, you've thought it. I know you have. How do I know? Because I've thought it too. And as much as you tried to deny it, it's okay to be white. Just let you know that you were right. Now, is it unfounded? Do we really have it coming, so to speak? No. No. The reality, the truth of the matter, is that it's completely unfounded. We do not have it coming as a white race. The white races do not have it coming. They have no comeuppance, right? As you've always thought. Hey, I know you've thought it, because I've thought it too. I don't think you can be white and look around at this world and not recognize that the existence of the white races is constantly being attacked, demonized. You know it's true. And you've taken it. You've checked yourself. You've checked your thoughts. You've checked your speech. You've checked your posture. You've checked your attitudes. You've checked how you look at people. You've overanalyzed yourself and your intentions, all based on this notion that it's not okay to be white, because that is the message that the left has put out there. Is it not? I say it is. So clearly, if you're white, the left wants you to be racist. Whether you really are or not, that's what they want, right? They've painted you as being racist. They've painted you as being supremacist, nationalist, um, privileged, powerful, undeservedly so, right? And you've internalized this your whole life. If you're under 50, I would even say if you're under 60 and if you're white, if you're a thinking person, if you're an observant person, educated, if you if you follow politics, 
if you follow culture, then you know this to be the case. And your whole life, instead of sticking up for yourself, you've said, oh, you know, gee, I really, I, I, I really want to purge myself of any, any racism or any hostility or microaggressions or unconscious biases that I might have. And so you focus so heavily on that that you've ignored the racism in society against you because you're white. It's largely been blacks that have been the target of racism. At least that's what we're told. That's what culture paints society as, as being racist against blacks. The idea that anybody else could be racist against whites, has you've been told, is, is unfounded. Impossible. Because it's whites that are racist. Nobody else. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, you know what? It's whites that are the least racist in this society, in Western culture. We have accepted multiculturalism, diversity. We have accepted being attacked, being marginalized, even though we constitute the majority of the population. You know that there is a theme, an idea out there about eliminating the white races by turning the whole world brown. You see white women going for black guys in droves. Okay, that's part of white guilt. Now, no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being attracted to somebody of another race. There is nothing wrong with interracial marriages or relationships or partnerships. There is something wrong with deliberately seeking relationships with anyone else except for your own race out of white guilt. And that's why you see so many white women going for every other race than white men. Be honest, if you're a white guy, how many white girls have you dated? How many white girls have you tried to date that were like, ah, they're just not that into you. They're, they, like the, they like the BBC, you know? How many women have you heard talk about this? Don't deny it. You have. And if you're a woman, I'm not addressing you. You already know you have, especially if you're a white woman. You like the BBC, and I'm not talking about the British Broadcast Company. So, yes, if you're white, especially if you're a straight white male, you really are under attack by culture, by society, by, I shouldn't say by culture, I should say the dominant leftist culture, because the left does control culture. They control academia. And they're more and more in control of government. And their reaction to this, it's okay to be white meme, should tell you, should give you a clue that if you are white, that you're a problem. Your existence is problematic. And it's problematic because the left is pushing this multiculturalism, progressivism, diversity, and all of it is implied to be anti-white. I mean, they don't come right out and say, you know, we want everyone else except whites. Whites, just get out of here. Just go away. Go crawl off in a corner and die. They haven't overtly come out and said that until now. And it was so easy to get them to admit it. All you had to do was say, it's okay to be white. And wow, kablamo, obviously it's not okay to be white. <laughs> So what should you do about it? I have no idea. Start making babies. Start pumping out white babies in droves. I mean, if it's not okay to be white, if your existence is a problem for the society and the culture in which you live, and you have nothing to do with it, you have no influence over that, well, then you better wake up. You better start taking action. You better start being proud of your accomplishments, getting some confidence, because that's what it is. They don't want you to be confident. They want you to look down. They want you to be demure. They want you to be subservient. They want you guilty, guilt-ridden. I say fuck all that crap. 
I have never been one to lean towards white pride or white supremacy or any of that other nonsense. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and be demonized for the color of my skin. And I don't care how many of my ancestors supposedly demonized other races for the colors of their skin. I had nothing to do with that. Neither did you. And you shouldn't pretend that you did. So, good luck out there, white people. Have a great day.